Sharing with Scratch. Sharing with Scratch. Sharing with Scratch. Sharing with Scratch. Sharing. 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 Sharing with Scratch. Welcome back to Sharing with Scratch. This episode is about one of our favorite topics. Re, 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 remixing. Scratch encourages folks to adapt existing projects in new directions. That's right, Vanessa. Remixing is about options. It's about building on the ideas, knowledge, and creation of others. It's a great form of sharing. You two are remixing a bunch of hooey. Oh, geez, Walt. You definitely know how to slow our roll. Listen to what my students have to say about your remixing. Remixing totally stinks. Remixers mess up my hard work. Yeah, and my work on the Scratch site is mine. Remixers are stealing my ideas. I downloaded a project to remix it, but the code was too complicated. How can I understand it? What do I do? And if that doesn't take air out of your remix balloon, let me tell you. Remix is an assessment nightmare. How can I be sure my students are learning and not copying? I totally hear all of you about these challenges. Remixing is a complicated idea. Let's figure it out together. How can we think through solutions to these problems? Like Michelle, not wanting her work messed up. Well, if her work is going to be remixed in class, like during a pass it on, maybe she could just save two versions of her project. One that's just for her, and one that it's okay to remix. Great idea. What about Seymour's problem with having his work stolen? Isn't it a kind of compliment if someone wants to remix your work? My mom always says that copying is the highest form of flattery. So your work isn't really stolen. Yeah. Did you know when you share your work online and it gets remixed, Scratch automatically gives you credit. You can also see a tree of all the other projects that have been remixed from one original. And the original still gets credit for being the original. Cool. And how about the code being too hard? If the code is too hard, you could always break it down into smaller pieces that are easier to digest. I know that helps me sometimes when I'm stuck. Walt, I knew you'd come around. Don't think this means I'm going soft. You still haven't addressed my problems. Mr. Wiggums, just ask us. If we can talk about our work intelligently, then we obviously understand it and haven't just copied it from someone else. Yeah, this programming stuff can be confusing. If we've just stolen a project, we probably won't be able to talk about it very much. We could totally write in our design notebooks, too. We could explain what parts of the project were there already, what we explored, what we added, and why. Wow! Well, my work is done. Mr. Wiggums, you have some incredible students. Thanks for all the great sharing, gang. And keep on re-re-remixing. Remixing shows that we're all connected and that we all influence each other. Which brings us to our next episode, Checking In with a Neighbor. Make sure you check it out. Also be sure to visit the Scratch Ed website for all sorts of great remixing stories, lessons, and resources. We've even added links to some great ones below this video. Until next time, this is... Sharing with Scratch! Bounce, 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 bounce. Sharing with Scratch! Sharing with Scratch! Sharing with Scratch! Sharing with Scratch! Sharing! 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 Sharing!